donuts. Unlike other sweets made in big factories, the production of donuts requires much more human intervention. This is due to the gentle consistency of the dough, which can easily crumple or get damaged by the machines. Therefore, after placing the dough in the moulds, any excess is removed manually, and the workers transport the donuts directly to a special frying device. The fried donuts are placed on a special conveyor and sent to the glaze dispenser section, and then into a small drum to evenly distribute the powder. Ice cream. Machines used in the production of ice cream are as different as the different types of ice cream they create. For example, an Eskimo pie fixed on a stick is not placed in a container with chocolate, but on the contrary, stays in place while the chocolate rises to it. Another sort of ice cream is dipped in glaze only on one side. The initial stages of production, such as placing the stick inside the ice cream, as well as distributing the sweet mix into molds, is also very interesting. Finis processing line. Onions aren't easy to peel, even when you're cooking at home. So of course, if you need to peel them for industrial needs, specialized equipment is used. The machine you see on the screen is produced by the Dutch company Finis. This is a processing line for vegetables, covering the whole process all the way to the final packaging. Each onion is processed many times. At first, the forklift puts the onion box on a special platform, which flips it and sends the vegetables over a conveyor belt. In order for each onion to be peeled, the machine must cut off its root. That's why the vegetables are separated from each other and sent for peeling in separate cells. Note how the equipment then also turns each vegetable over so it faces the blade with its backside. Only after that, the onion is peeled. The equipment removes the skin and then finally cuts the vegetables. The last task performed by the processing line is packing the onions. It's noteworthy that the size of the sliced pieces is adjustable. The displayed equipment is also capable of processing carrots, potatoes, beetroots, peppers and some other vegetables. IMS Forming Machine Before you start baking, you need to make the dough. The machine you're seeing right now is designed for this purpose, especially for cooking dumplings and other similar dishes. This unit manufactures a ready-made product, and the quality doesn't differ from that of homemade dishes. shows the work of the production equipment paired with a special rotating table. It allows to make production more autonomous and spares operators from the need for careful control. Surprisingly, this machine produces up to 90 kilograms of dumplings per hour, making from 80 to 120 pieces every minute. Easy Line If you've ever wondered how pastry products such as strudels and stuffed buns are made on a production scale, you're about to get your answer. This is a processing line from the German company Fritsch. It can cut, fold, twist, fill and punch dough. 
that's why it can be used to create more than 10 different pastry products, from pretzels to rolls. The machine is designed for the needs of small and medium-sized bakeries. There's minimal involvement of the operators in the process. They only carry out the maintenance such as cleaning, as well as the supply of raw materials and the assembly of the finished product. Mac line. This line of equipment is designed for processing large quantities of lettuce. The video shows how the cut, washed product, which can be found at almost any store, is made. First, the lettuce is put on the conveyor belt. Workers manually separate the leaves from the stem with a knife, but leaf shredding, which is a more demanding task, is done by the machines. The next step is to rinse the lettuce thoroughly in water. At this stage, leaves that are unsuitable for further processes are also removed. It's very important that every leaf is thoroughly cleaned, and that's why they're washed twice. Wet leaves cannot be packaged, as they're more likely to rot. For this reason, the leaves are then placed on a vibrating conveyor belt, which shakes off excess water from the product. But that's not the end of it. In addition, moisture is removed by this centrifuge. Only after that can the leaves be sent to the shops. The production line consists of a total of seven separate types of equipment. Together, they're able to process 500 to 800 kilograms of lettuce per hour. Store machinery. Sliced ham and cheese aren't made by hand, but by a very advanced piece of equipment, like these machines from the German company Textor. The manufacturer offers about 10 different models. What you see now on the screen is the working process of one of them. For example, the models the TS500 and TS700 work in a similar way, but have different powers and blade sizes. Both machines are designed for slicing a wide range of products, but the most important thing is that they can stack the cutting in 12 different ways, depending on the needs of the manufacturer. For example, with a small gap piled on top of each other, folded, and so on. The disc cutter combines high capacity and short recharging time. The open blade design facilitates the cleaning process. Here's another equipment for slicing products. The blade cuts several types of meat simultaneously. Afterwards, they're stacked on top of each other with the smart overlapper. From here, stacks of products arrive at the smart loader. This is another conveyor belt designed for folding the product in a suitable way for packaging. This way, all the work is done by the machines. The only thing left to do is loading the raw materials into the machine on time. Pizza While many restaurants in the world specialize in making handmade pizza, Big food companies use automatic processing to create semi-finished products. This process does not require human intervention, except for possible final adjustments or the removal of defective products. The process is actually really simple. The dough, pre-mixed in a large container, is placed in a special device that rolls the mass. A durable rubber roller with different shapes cuts out circles of the right diameter and sends them directly to the source dispensers. The source pouring process is also automatic. Once the pizza base is ready, it's sprinkled with cheese and other ingredients, cooked in an oven and then in a refrigerator. The final product is packed in cellophane. Chocolate. 
To begin the production of chocolate, you need chocolate beans, which are ground and converted into a homogeneous mass. A high temperature and a special rate of mixing give the chocolate its distinctive consistency. And then cocoa butter and flavors are added. The resulting chocolate mass is distributed into molds using a standard automatic dispenser and shaken manually to remove all possible bubbles. After the finished tiles are frozen, they're placed in the conveyor belts and packed to be sent to stores. Coca-Cola Despite the fact that Coke's final and accurate recipe is kept a secret, monitoring the process of bottling the drink is quite interesting. Bottles arrive to the plant directly from the bottle fabric, but they're washed one more time to destroy any harmful substances. Meanwhile, in a separate container, the workers mix purified water, which represents 86% of the drink, with a special infusion, and then concentrated sugar syrup is added. After that, the bottles are cleaned with gas and placed in a special device that then fills them with coke. Potato Chips During the first stage of production, potatoes are washed in a special drum. Once the vegetables are peeled, they are sent through a dispenser into another machine, which cuts the potatoes into thin slices. To remove the excess of moisture, they are placed in a centrifuge and then fried in oil. To give the chips a special taste, manufacturers use a mixture of spices and flavors that are evenly distributed over the potato slices. Dale's Raw Protein Bars for the production of protein bars, the mix whose composition remains unknown is placed manually in a small mixer, where it's mixed together with special syrup. The resulting product is cut in the form of little bricks, covered with chocolate glaze, then packed and placed in boxes. Peanut butter. Once the peanuts are out of the shell, they undergo one more stage of cleansing to get rid of the husks. They are then ground, mixed with other ingredients such as salt and sugar, and placed in a large container with a mixer at a stable, warm temperature. This is necessary to prevent the solidification of the mass ahead of time. The final and ready-to-eat peanut butter is placed in thermally treated jars. Ketchup The main ingredient of ketchup is tomato paste, which arrives to the factory in vacuum packages to preserve freshness and taste. With the help of a special pump, the mass is placed in a special container and mixed with other ingredients such as salt, sugar substitute, vinegar and more. In the next step of production, 
The plastic bottles pass through a special cooling system before they're filled with the ketchup. The machine fills eight bottles at a time, and the manufacturer has to check one bottle from each lot. After the ketchup is in the bottles, the labels are glued to it. Croissant On the first page of the fully automated process of baking croissants, the mechanically mixed dough is pressed down and sent to a special conveyor. A special mechanism rolls the mass to create a thin layer of dough, and any excess is removed with the help of two cutting elements, located along the edges of the conveyor. Then, the dough is cut into triangles which are twisted to create the croissants. Each croissant is placed in a separate cavity and baked. It's also noteworthy that the croissants are filled automatically, that is, through a series of dispensers, which penetrate the finished product. 